Two before you go. I have done the state some service and they know it. No more of that. I pray you, in your letters when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am. Nothing extensuate nor having set down aught in malice, then must you speak of one who loved not wisely but too well, of one not easily jealous but being wrought, perplexed in the extreme of one whose hand, like the base Indian, threw a pearl away, richer than all his tribe, set you down this, took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus. I hate the more when it is thought abroad that twixt my sheets he has done my office. I know if not be true. Let me see. How? How? After some time to abuse a fellow's ear that he is too familiar with his wife, 
the moor is a free and open nature that thinks men honest that but seem to be so and will as tenderly be led by the nose as asses are. I have it. It is engendered. Hell and night must bring this monstrous birth to the world's light. Diago. Good Iago. Iago is most honest. I never knew a Florentine more kind and honest. Good night, honest Iago. Honest. Iago. Honest Iago. Good Iago. Iago was most honest. I never knew a Florentine more kind and honest. Good night, honest Iago. Honest Iago. Good Iago. I never knew a Florentine more kind and honest. Good night, honest Iago. Iago was most honest. Good Iago. Honest Iago. Kind and honest. I never knew a Florentine more kind and honest. Honest Iago. Honest Iago. Good Iago. Good night, honest Iago. Honest Iago. Kind and honest. I never knew a Florentine more kind and honest. Honest Iago. Honest Iago. Good Iago. Kind, honest Iago. Honest Iago. Kind, honest Iago. 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 Honest. Honest Iago was the most honest. 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 What's he then that says I play the villain? When this advice is free, I give and honest, probable to thinking and indeed the course to win the more again. For tis most easy the inclining Desdemona to subdue in all honest suits. She's framed as fruitful as the free Elements. How am I then a villain to counsel Cassio in this parallel course directly to his good divinity of hell? When devils will the blackest sins put on they do suggest at first with heavenly shows. As I do now. <laughs> I am not what I am. That is a fault. That handkerchief did an Egyptian to my mother give and bid me when fate would have me wife to give to her. I did so and take heed on it. Make it a darling to your precious eye. 
to lose it or give it away or such perdition as nothing else could match. You are well tuned now. But I'll set down the pegs that make this music as honest as I am. Hi! 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi! Cameron. Hey! Awesome. Okay. Cameron and Killian are two amateur actors who have agreed to participate in an experiment scientists are calling a cold read. They will be reading a scene from Othello, in which Cameron will be reading as Iago and Kayleen will be reading as Othello. They know nothing about these characters, story, or setting. Let's watch. Ha! Huh. I like not that. What dost thou say? Nothing, my lord, or if I know not what. Was not that Cassio parted from my wife? Cassio, my lord, no, sure, I cannot think it that he would steal away so guilty-like seeing you coming. Mm, I do believe t'was he. My noble lord. What dost thou say, Iago? Did Michael Cassio, when you wooed my lady, know of your love? He did, from first to last. Why dost thou ask? But for satisfaction of my thought, no further harm. Why of thy thought, Iago? I did not think he had been acquainted with her. Oh, yes. And when between us, very oft. Indeed. Indeed. I indeed. Discernest thou aught in that? Is he not honest? Honest, my lord. Honest, I honest. My lord, for aught I know. What dost thou think? Think, my lord. Think, my lord. By heaven he echoes me, as if there was some monster in his thought, too hideous to be shown. <laughs> thou dost mean something. I heard thee say, even now, thou likest not that when Cassio left my wife. What didst not like? And when I told thee he was of my counsel in my whole course of wooing, thou criedst indeed, and did contract and purse thy brow together. If thou dost love me, show me thy thought. My lord, you know I love you. For Michael Cassio, I dare be sworn, I think that he is honest. I think so too. Men should be what they seem, or those that be not, would they might seem none. Certain men should be what they seem. Why then, I think Cassio's an honest man. Nay, yet there's more in this. I pray thee, speak to me as to thy thinkings, as thou dost ruminate, and give thy worst of thoughts the worst of words. Good, my lord, pardon me. Though I am bound to every act of duty, I am not bound to that all slaves are free to. Utter my thoughts? Why, say they are vile and false, as wears that palace wherein two foul things sometimes intrude not. Thou dost conspire against thy friend, Iago, if thou but think'st him wrong, and makest his ear a stranger to thy thoughts. I do beseech you, though I perchance ambitious in my guess, as I confess it is my nature's plague to spy into abuses, and oft my jealousy shapes faults that are not, that your wisdom yet, from one that so imperfectly conceits, would take no notice, nor build yourself a trouble out of this scattering and unsure observance. It were not for your quiet, nor your good, nor my manhood, honesty, or wisdom to let you know my thoughts. By heaven, I'll know thy thoughts. Oh, beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat that it feeds on. That cuckold lives in bliss, who, certain of his fate, loves not his wronger. But, oh, what damned minutes tells he o'er, who doubts, yet doubts, suspects, yet strongly loves. Oh, misery! Good heaven, the souls of all my tribe defend from jealousy! Why? Why is this? Thinkest thou I'll make a lie of jealousy to follow still the changes of the moon with fresh suspicions? Tis not to make me jealous to say my wife is fair, feeds well, loves company, is free of speech, sings, plays, and dances well. For she had eyes and chose me. No, Iago, I'll see before I doubt. When I doubt, prove. And on the proof, there is no more but this. Away at once with love or jealousy. I speak not yet of proof. Look to your wife. 
observe her well with Cassio. Wear your eye thus, not jealous nor secure. I would not have your free and noble nature out of self-bounty be abused. Look to it. I know our country disposition well. In Venice, they do let heaven see the pranks they dare not show their husbands. Their best conscience is not to leave it undone, but keep it unknown. Dost thou say so? She did deceive her father, marrying you. And when she seemed to shake and fear your looks, she loved them most. So she did. I am bound to thee forever. I see this hath little dashed your spirits. Uh, uh, not a jot, not a jot. In faith, I fear it has. I hope you will consider what a spoke comes from my love. But I do see you're moved. I am to pray you not to strain my speech to grosser issues, nor to larger reach than to suspicion. I will not. Should you do so, my lord, my speech should fall into such vile success as my thoughts aim not at. Cassio is my worthy friend. My lord, I see you're moved. No, not much moved. I do not think but Desdemona's honest. Long live she so, and long live you to think so. And yet, how nature erring from itself. Why, there's the point, as to be bold with you, not to affect many proposed matches of our own clime, complexion, and degree, whereto we see in all things nature tends. But pardon me, I do not in position distinctly speak of her, though I may fear her will, recoiling to her better judgment, may fall to match with, you, with her country forms and happily repent. Farewell, farewell. Uh, if more thou dost perceive, let me know. Set on my wife to observe. Leave me, Iago. My lord, I would I might entreat your honor to scan this thing no further. Leave it to time. Note, if your lady strain his entertainment with any strong or vehement inopportunity, much will be seen in that. In the meantime, let me be thought too busy in my fears, as worthy cause I have to fear I am, and hold her free. I do beseech your honor. Fear not my government. I once more take my leave. All right. That's pretty cool. That was not I, a love scene. Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in to another social experiment. Until next time, I'm your host, Wanda. No. Can I start recording now? Thank you. I will, in Cassio's lodging, lose this napkin and let him find it. Trifles light as air are to the jealous confirmation strong as proofs of holy writ. may do something. The moor already changes with my poison. Now will I question Cassio of Bianca. He, when he hears of her, cannot refrain from the excess of laughter. <laughs> Here he comes. As he shall smile. Fellow shall go mad.
Iago. <laughs> I know Iago. <laughs> Thy honesty and love doth mince the matter. Honest. Honest. That's honest. Not honest. Iago is most honest. I know Iago. I know. I know Iago. It's honest. Iago is most honest. Iago is most honest. Do it not with poison. Strangle her in her bed. Even the bed she hath contaminated. This is the night that either makes me or foredoes me quite. Oh, murderous slave! Oh, villain! Oh! Damn Diago! Oh! A human dog! Alas! My friend and my dear countryman! Cassio did top her. Ask thy husband else. Thy husband knew it all. My husband? Thy husband. My husband. I, Twas he that told me first. An honest man he is. My husband? What needs this iteration, woman? I say thy husband! Oh, mistress! Villainy hath made mocks with love! My husband say that she was false? My friend, thy husband, honest! Honest, Iago. Villainy! Villainy, villainy! Where is that viper? Bring the villain forth! I bleed, sir, but not killed. Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? What you know, you know, from this time forth, I never will speak word. Just a man's makeup, fake love, make him all laugh. Come on, someone. It gives me wonder, nice great as my content, to see you here before me. Oh, my soul's joy. If after every tempest comes such calms, may the winds blow till they have wakened death. If I were now to die, were now to be most happy for it. I fear my soul hath her content so absolute that not another comfort like to this succeeds in unknown fate.
Wow. Iago.